Good morning, everybody. Woo wee! Isn't that a beautiful sunrise? Woo! Tell you what ain't beautiful. It's 20 degrees, wet hair, cold ears. But we got some exciting things happening today. Oh, that jiggly wiggly on the mic just drives me nuts. So it's 20 degrees out today, and we should have been thinking last Friday and got this tractor into the shop because I need it today, and she is a cold-blooded pig. So I'm thinking I'm gonna plug it in, let it be plugged in for a couple hours before we really need to get this thing into the shop. Ideally, it should be in the shop, warm it up, all the fluids and everything, but we really don't like cold starting stuff. Sometimes you just gotta do it. Can anyone see if that cord's plugged in? It looks like it's halfway plugged in. Mm-hmm. I've made that mistake before, waiting for some batteries to charge. Just never would charge. Turns out, extension cord that was always plugged in was not plugged in. Oh, well, we got power. I didn't like all that sparking. So why did I just plug that tractor in? No, it ain't an electric tractor. So what plugging a tractor in means, got this electrical cord here. This runs up to somewhere in the engine block and actually heats up the antifreeze in that area and helps when you turn it over, the engine's already somewhat warm. Makes a heck of a difference. Yes, that's what, that's what it does. So anyways, we're gonna let that sit, heat up the antifreeze a little bit and we'll be back for it in an hour or two. It also feels good to be back in front of the camera. Uh, it's been a little bit. We've been taking a break. My wife, she's sick of editing every day for eight hours a day, trying to pump out a video every day through Harvest, which I hope you guys all enjoyed, but that's just an unrealistic amount of videos to maintain for the whole year. So we're gonna be going back down to our three to four videos a week and hopefully we can crank that out. And yeah, during the spring and the fall, we try to do a video every day just because there is, that's the interesting part of farming and the exciting part. So yeah, now it's just to get back in the rhythm of uh, three to four, which is a little different when you're not in front of the camera every day. Man, that thing stinks like hog manure. Mm. All right, to the garage. I got Douglas carpet dirty. He's gonna know right away too. He tracks us. He knows what the our shoe tread looks like and whoever gets his carpet dirty gets to hear about it. You guys have been blown away what I'm gonna do now, which we have to do anytime it's muddy outside. Which I shouldn't complain about because I like it clean too. Not joking about that. We do that multiple times a day in the spring and when it's ever it rains out. Yep. That was maybe one of the biggest hurdles of the big Swede getting used to when he started working here was washing his feet off. So, a couple of these HID bulbs. I believe they're HIDs. Yeah, they got a ballast behind here. I think the ballast took a crap. So we're gonna actually gonna be pulling this one out, this one out, and this one out and replacing them with an LED, that's what the project is now. We chose to go that route because these, hopefully, never will go bad. And they're, they're actually cheaper than the ballast themselves. So that's what we're gonna do now. So we're going from this big thing to just a normal plug-in. Oh, so I've run into a bit of a troublesome problem. The lens and bolt hole is the proper size, but the back is substantially wider. If this piece wasn't on there, it would fit in the hole perfectly, but it is not fitting. Retrofitting to its finest. So this back is a lot skinnier than this one. So I got a phone call to Tremble Repair and AC to see if he's got the wrong light or if we're supposed to retrofit something. We'll find out shortly. And then dad says, I'm late. Can you grease the excavator for me? Okay, daddy. So grab the grease gun. 
I didn't check how much grease is in there. What do you think is going to happen first? Is the battery going to die or am I going to run out of grease? It's the question I ask myself every single time I grab a grease gun because you know one of the two is going to happen. Look at that, we survived. Half battery, inch left of grease. It's a miracle. It's a miracle! It's a miracle! I greased the whole thing and didn't run out of grease or battery. So I think we gotta cut this hole bigger according to uh, Mitch. He says you gotta do some trimming. Morning folks, so this is why you don't shoot your friend with a Nerf gun and then let him choke you and crush your windpipe. <laughs> but you should see what he looks like. Rough weekend? I'm glad I wasn't there. Choking don't sound like fun. So I think that Nikki's <clears throat> gonna be even more upset because he already talked too quiet. And so now you're like, bah, bah, bah. It should go away in a week or so. You should go like deer hunting because he wouldn't even need a call. You. Boop, boop. They'd have to be about three feet away to hear me. <laughs> Oh, I better shut up or I'll be the next guy choked. It's cheaper, what can I say? Well, we're gonna go see if she'll start. Oh, don't look, don't look, sorry. I moved the 6420. That did not need to be plugged in. That has a uh, grid heater on it, so it starts a lot better in cold weather. And it is warming up. It is warming up a little bit. Still pretty chilly though. This thing just is not, doesn't like cold weather. Just don't start the best. That. We're in the bed. What? What's the deal? You didn't like the looks of my scraper, huh? I think this might work a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, so. so where is it open? Oh man, that's that's gonna be fun. Larger paddles, reversible augers. What do you think of this? What do you think? I don't know, I've never been around nothing like it, so no comment yet. I'm pretty excited to try it. It looks like it could really mess you up though if you got driven over by it. I don't think you'd survive. Look at this. There's already the indication that you could be killed by the machine. <laughs> <laughs> so we're ready to go? Do some ditching then? Yeah. All right, I'll meet you at the field. Well, here we go. We're ditching, huh? Working good. <laughs>